to Behind the Sash. I am Elise Hudson, the 2015 Newcastle Regional Showgirl. The Land Sydney Showgirl competition aims to find a young woman to act as an ambassador for rural New South Wales with her role involving many official and informal duties, both at the Sydney Royal Easter Show and during her travels interstate and overseas. For over 50 years, young women across the state have competed for this prestigious role. But the showgirl competition is not a beauty pageant. Behind the pearls, makeup, pomp and ceremony are passionate young women with drive to benefit their local communities and rural New South Wales as a whole. Today, I'm excited to meet Ashley Olsen, who is the current Warhope showgirl. Welcome, Ash. Thanks for joining us here. Hi, how are you? I'm great. I'm glad that you could join us in the program so we could find out a little bit more about the Warhope showgirl. So... If I was to visit Warhope, what's the one thing I have to do while I'm in town? Oh, well, that is a really difficult question because there is so much to do when you come to Warhope. Obviously, if you come in April, you would come to our 106th Warhope show this year. Uh, if you don't come in April, <laughs> there's some great local attractions. We have Warhope, the Timber Town. So we still have our Timber Town Heritage theme park um, that is open most days. We have the beautiful Warhope Hinterland and the legendary Comboyne, which has some great attractions. Uh, we have a great innovative agricultural industry here. So uh, Hastings Landcare Farm Gate Tours are also a great attraction. And the, as well, we're 15 minutes from the coast, so we have our beautiful beaches. Okay, so 106 years of the War Hope Show. 106 years of the War Hope Show in 2016, and 50 years of the War Hope Show Girl competition as well in 2016, which is really exciting. You've got a lot of history you're carrying with you as the show girl. <laughs> I do, yes, yeah, especially in 2000, going into 2016. Yeah, so obviously Showgirl has such a rich history in War Hope in particular, but also statewide. Why did you decide to enter in Showgirl? The War Hope show has always um, been the highlight of my year and I've been very lucky to grow up going to the War Hope show, taking along my horses and competing and um, sharing in those traditions and that sense of community. So when uh, I turned, I think it was 20 the first time I did the showgirl competition and I had no hesitation at all in doing it. It was such a fantastic experience and I wanted to give back to my local show society and uh, see how I could contribute after, um, you know, how much I appreciated going to going to the shows growing up. So I was 20, I think, when I, I did Showgirl the first time and loved it so much that I've come back to do it a second time. Okay, so you're not, not a first-timer. You've, you've no, got a bit of come, experience on you. I do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come back to do it a second time, so. Yeah, what has surprised you the most about being part of the Showgirl movement? I mean, obviously you've got some experience in it before, but what really shocked you about it? I think um, I think the showgirl competition is going through a huge period of revival, um, especially with um, a lot of a lot of youth these days are wanting to give back to the community and are wanting to get involved and are looking looking for ways to do that. And I think for a lot of regional and rural Australia, the agricultural shows hold such a special place in everyone's heart that these um, youth committees and next-gen committees and feeding into the showgirl competition and rural achiever competition. People are looking for things to do and ways that they can help their show society committees. And obviously that's something you're hugely passionate about, having been going to the Warhope show for a very long time and competing. Yes, it is, and it's fantastic to um, to go along to your local show committee meetings and, um, you know, see what they're doing and see the background workings of the shows and how much planning goes into your local show every year. And um, I'm very fortunate to be a director of War Hope Show Society now, so I really enjoy... Um, you know, that the show is not, not a, a weekend experience. The show is, um, you know, something that a whole year of planning goes into. So you're really involved in your show, obviously. Um, you're part of the committee. You're a director. How long have you actually been involved in your show committees? 
Oh gosh, I I don't really remember. <laughs> um, it's it started off actually by competing at my local show and um, seeing a need for in the horse ring. Um, they needed a hand on the organising committee, so I got involved in that. Um, maybe five or six years ago and started helping out um, developing the program for the Australian stock horses and, um, you know, giving giving that a bit of revival and um, it, delivering sort of what the need was in the area at the time, I guess. Um, so it started off on the, on the horse organising committee and then sort of moved into the show society committee. Okay, so um, we all have this image of the stereotypical showgirl, you know, the sash, the pearls, the makeup. <laughs> What's the least stereotypical, stereotypically showgirl thing about you? Oh, oh, great question. Great question. Um, I'm not a girly girl at all. And um, I've grown up with the horses and, and the cattle and um, would be much happier in my jeans and boots than in a dress any day. In my, my last two showgirl presentations, you know how most girls will wear the dress and the heels to yeah. be sashed? I'm still in moleskins and boots because I've just got off a horse. You've and, just you been know, competing. Yeah. <laughs> usually have black dye and horse makeup all over me. <laughs> so I don't think I even I, – you know, our show is fantastic and they organised a makeup artist and a, um, you know, a hairdresser to come, but I didn't even get time to get to that. Oh, you must have been a bit was, of disappointment. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit of disappointment. Appointment. So, you know, I'm getting sashed and I have like horse makeup smeared across my face instead of proper proper makeup. But in reality, isn't that really what the showgirl's about though? She's well, so involved in her show that she's yeah. going to be the one that's smeared in horse makeup or she's just spent the past <laughs> 20 minutes wrangling pigs or the Kelpies yeah. or something. <laughs> that's fantastic. And that's what it is, you know. it's um, The showgirl competition has so much to offer. So, you know, I'm sure anybody would, would get a lot out of it. But it is about being at the heart of your, your show and, um, you know, wanting to promote your show society as much as possible. And I think growing up um, in sort of the local agricultural shows as well, you know that you're there to have a good time. So you're not, um, you're not probably taking it, um, you know, as that um, – yeah the misconception of what showgirl is that you need to be all dressed up and wearing your pearls. Because they seem so glamorous. <laughs> There's a time and a place for that, but also it's about, you know, getting your hands dirty and, and contributing to your show. So is there anything that you think is really important that you'd like people to know about either you or War Hope or anything that you're up to? Oh, fantastic question. <laughs> Well, I, I would really like people um, to get involved with their local show societies and um, obviously the uh, youth committees in your local area, so next-gen committees depending on, on where you live. Um, a little plug for the Group 2 Show Societies Mid-North Coast Next-Gen, uh, which goes by Footprints in Ag. Uh, Footprints in Ag will be having a Dance for Drought Ball on the 6th of February. Uh, it will be held at Warhope Showground, and we would love for as many people as possible to get behind um, this great cause. A lot of um, the money raised will be going to Aussie Helpers, so our farmers are really in need at the moment, and come along, have a great night, and um, help us support them. All right. Well, that sounds like fantastic fun. Hopefully the event will go off with a bang. I'd like to thank you very much, Ash, for coming on Behind the Sash and giving us a view into who actually is the War Hope Showgirl. I wish you all the best in the Showgirl competition and I look forward to seeing you around. And this has been the episode of Behind the Sash, Showgirl Stories. Mm-hmm.